All right, guys, it's about that time. I look like a straight dude with these cornrows. It's about that time, y'all, I think. I'm praying. Today's March 28th. I feel like I'm coming. Oh. No, oh, please don't push on the brake. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I have to stop. Oh. Oh. Push so hard. On the brakes? Breathe, 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 oh. breathe, 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 breathe deep. Oh my God. Deep, deep, deep breathing. All right, like I was saying, I've been having contractions since last night. They started out like 30 minutes to an hour every one and it would wake me up out of my sleep and I tried to just sleep through it. And then I woke up in the morning and they started getting closer together, probably like anywhere between seven and 30 minutes apart. They were just so random and sporadic. Over the past like hour, they've been between four and six minutes, but they've been coming more frequently now. I just had to cut the camera off because I had one. And then these contractions are kind of making me nauseous. So I've already thrown up twice. Yeah, they're pretty painful. We're on the way to the hospital. I hope that I am dilating or progressing some, some kind of way. I don't want to get sitting back home. I've tried to labor at home, I guess, as long as we could, but the contractions are pretty close. And with me being nauseous, and baby not moving as much, probably best to just go. Today marks 40 weeks. It is March 28th. It is Dante's birthday, Gio's brother. Dante was hoping that the baby would not come on his birthday, but hey, Amora is on her own time. How do you feel? Um, like I can't do anything. After the labor, then I'll probably be excited and happy, but right now I just feel like I can't help. I'm excited for her to, to come. I just hope that this is not a long, drawn out process. Pull her out myself if it's long. <laughs> I forgot the tequila. Tequila, oh my God. Alcoholic once again. It's gonna keep me up. Got the music, <laughs> got my laptop, my hard drive. I was about to bring the big speaker, but. You know. So far, my contractions have, like on a pain scale, it's probably been like a seven or an eight up to this point. You never had the worst one yet. Well, thanks. Sorry. He's right. I can't remember if I told you all already, but I'm. Uh, my goal is to do to try and do this birth un unmedicated. So I, I really don't want any kind of intervention. I didn't want an induction. I wanted her to come on her own. If I need fluids through IV, that's fine. But as far as like getting an epidural, I don't. I do not want an epidural. Even the walking epidural, I don't. I don't know. We we have to see how things go. I'm gonna try to stick to my birth plan as much as possible. Just pray to the Lord that everything goes well. Yeah, we're we're here, y'all. If they check me in triage and they admit us, then I'll update you guys later. I'm at the hospital. We're in the triage uh, in the labor and delivery, labor and delivery unit. And these contractions are getting stronger. Gio said my belly dropped. Yeah, they're getting stronger and I feel like they're getting closer together. They're like three, four minutes apart. I did a CTG scan. Um, she has a normal heart rate. I got my contractions monitored as well. Um, did like 30 minutes of monitoring first, and then she did a cervix check. You let me use the restroom, and then we did a cervix check, and your girl is only one centimeter dilated. How, how in the world? I, I didn't even have to say anything. They already offered the birthing pool, which is a good thing. And she said the baby will probably come tonight. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh. I said earlier I was gonna try to stick to unmedicated. Yo, if I'm one centimeter and these contractions feel like this, 
I already have sort of a low pain tolerance, but I was, I'm, I was and still am, I'm so determined to try this unmedicated. I don't want an epidural. I don't know if there's any like just pain medication like oral that I can take or through IV, but I just don't want that epidural. I really don't. I'm pretty nervous because I'm only one centimeter and they feel like this threw up again, which I, I knew was either was gonna happen I, I knew i was either gonna sweat like crazy or i was gonna get nauseous and i have been sweating actually just not like profusely like i have in the past when i was in some like ridiculous amount of pain right now i'm waiting on the doctor to come in here they're gonna do an ultrasound on the baby Gio went out to the car really quick to go get a few things so he'll be back in a second but this is the triage room this is the tv for the ultrasound i was laying there while i was getting monitored and blood pressure and they have a nice little couch in here just wanted to check in with you all this is this pain is no joke and i thought i was in active labor at least like i thought i was reaching active labor but i thought i was at least four or five centimeters i can barely walk y'all she feels so low and there's so much pressure I'll keep you all updated. Do this ultrasound and then get in the bath. Talk to y'all later. So, Miss Ma'am, how are you feeling? Ah, like your pants is down. I think I left the throw up bag. Yeah. Oh my God. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want the yeah. Can you the eyes with the to help with the pain? Um, I can give you something about this. This, okay. Uh, so I don't know if it helps so good here uh, because the service is open wide. Okay. It's, yeah. It doesn't help so much. You want to lay on the side. She just said you're so far, it may not be as strong, but you said, you know, but you have to move it all day, you're fine. It's so strong. When the hand comes out, that's it, you're done. Uh... One, two, maybe three persons, oh. you're done. Oh. 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 Oh.
foi, foi. Não, 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 foi estampa, foi estampa. Não, foi estampa. Não, foi Oh, 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 You don't need a painkiller. Oh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't uh, make it better in this moment, okay? No, it's open though. Oh, it's open. Send 10 centimeters. Ah, uh, no, not, not yet. We will wait a moment mm -hmm. that the baby is coming down um, mm -hmm. from alone a little bit down, okay? Oh, okay? And I will say to her, okay. like, to push, okay? Now you try to uh, make a deep in and out breathing, okay? But if you don't um, make it anymore, deep in and out breathing, you can a little, you can make a little push, okay? But not, not much, yeah? It's better to breathe. Yeah, the, the feeling, it comes from alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's not true. Okay, you ready? Two meters? Sure. Oh, no, 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 
Come. Get your hand out your face. Get your hand out your face. One more. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Y'all, don't mind how I look. I look straight crazy. But everything is well. Baby girl is doing well. It's currently the next day after I have given labor. It's March 29th. It's 12 oh eight right now Gio is running a couple of errands bringing me food getting some stuff from the house and then headed back here and then we get to go to a family room at 3 p.m today they'll move us to a family room so that we can be in a room by ourselves Gio can have a bed and he doesn't have to leave the hospital this is really crazy I thought visiting hours was only relevant during COVID, but apparently it's not. After I gave birth, he had to leave by 2 a.m. last night. And apparently visiting hours today doesn't start until 2 p.m. But thankfully, the roommate that I have right over here, she's gone right now, but she said it was okay with her if Gio comes back and stays in the room with me until we go to the family room. So pretty crazy experience so far. Cafeteria food sucks. I guess because we have some kind of different insurance then they're allowing us to pick from a menu we'll have better food i will check in with you all later all right everyone so today is day two two days after gave birth to amora on march 28th 9 13 p.m she was 6.8 pounds and seven pounds seven pounds basically and 20.5 inches long we captured as much as we could of the actual birth but apparently my battery sucks and the battery died so i didn't capture me actually pushing amora out but in this video you all will see some of me in like active labor those contractions y'all crazy I'm thankful to the Lord that everything went well. Um, I'm healthy, Amora's healthy. You made it through. You made it through. That is all that matters. Yeah, like I said, today's Thursday. We're getting ready to... They didn't want to send us home until tomorrow on Friday, but the doctor just came in and asked if we wanted to go home today. So we're going to go ahead and pack everything up and go home. I didn't get to record much in this room because we were trying to catch up on rest. I was trying to breastfeed Amora and get that figured out. We're still working through it, but I think things are progressing well. Uh, my milk hasn't fully come in yet, so it's a, it's a bit frustrating because I have to breastfeed and give her a little bit of formula so she's not starving. And this little girl is a fatty. She eats a lot already, and it's only two days after she's been out the womb. She starved her when she was in there. I did not starve her, especially towards the end. I was eating a lot. Just to quickly show you all the family room, I guess, that we're in. Here's the entrance. And there's a bathroom with the shower. And here is some of the better food that they brought us once they realized we have Private insurance, whatever that is. Oh, what is that? We ended up bringing our own snacks. The room also has uh, a small mini fridge. Um, they put two beds in here for us. And a table, and this is, this is basically the room. They took Amora. Go get a hearing hearing test before we go home so that girl can cry she can cry y'all she has she has some uh lungs on her the baby's hungry she's hungry yeah okay okay 
Is the the hearing test yeah, still it's okay? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Amor is back, you guys. Another car. Amor, baby. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> She's perfect. Isn't she perfect? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go because I think she's hungry. I'm trying to feed her before we leave, so. Talk to you guys later.